Okay. I'm ready. Hey guys, it's your girl Melly, and thank you so much for clicking this video. Now today, today, today is a good day. Okay, it's time for you to get yourself together. Okay, we're gonna get it right. We're gonna get it right. Now today's topic is how to keep your positivity. How to keep your positivity is like asking how you keep your glow. By the way, you see how how my skin is shining. You gotta make it like a natural thing, okay? Just like this glow on the skin right here, okay? You gotta it gotta be a natural thing. Now, what I mean by a natural thing, it gotta come from within. You gotta always be positive. It's a mindset thing. It's not. It's nothing physical. It's all in the mind. <sighs> what I do, okay. What I do when I wake up in the morning, I uh, I don't do this every single day because I always think I'm the shit, and you should too. Like no matter the situation, like you got me messed up. <laughs> but what I always do, no matter what, no matter the situation, or when I really feel like somebody. Or something trying me, girl. I go and look at myself in the mirror. I go and give myself a long, hard look in the mirror. Okay? You could do this inter internally, or you could do this outwardly. Me, I'm a, I'm a, I am an outspoken person. I speak things out loud. And I'll make sure that it, like... <laughs> I make sure I hear that she real strong, Okay? So I look at myself in the mirror, we're going to have this speech together, okay? You are the shit and then some. Nobody else will come and tell you anything different. You are beautiful no matter what. No matter what, okay? Because sometimes we allow our mind, and our mind is full of negativity because it's full of what we hear on the outside. That's not you. That is the voices that you hear that you're hearing. That that is the environment that you're hearing. So your mind sometimes when you might feel like a little sluggish and a little uh who who even taught you that word sluggish? You heard it from somebody else, right? Correct? Alright. So first and foremost, first and foremost, since we on that note, we need to cancel. We need to cancel anybody that's making us feel any type of negative way. Okay, anything somebody if somebody is around you and always talking negativity or always talking down on themselves or talking down on you or it's not really giving you an uplifting vibe, control art and delete. Okay, that whole that whole vibe, that whole spirit is like gone up at your life. Okay, because that's not gonna help you because now you're gonna be too busy. Sorry. Now, instead of focusing your energy on something that could uplift you and, and bring you further in life, or you could bring you could bring all that energy into something good or something positive, you busy trying to lift this negative eyes vibe. I mean, this negative person up, and we're not doing that, and that's a waste of energy. Now you now you you taking some of that negative vibe because now you 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 trying to uplift that person, and the more you do it, you're gonna start like giving up like. Ugh. I'm tired, okay, girl, and that's already that's already pulling you down. Some people, some people just need to find their own positive vibe. Like it's good to have friends. Like it's that's why I'm here talking to you, sis. You know, but I feel as if the the only person, the true person that could help you is you. Once you don't put put that in your mind, or you, once you don't say that in your mind over and over and over again, you're not gonna go nowhere. You're not going to educate yourself. You're not gonna uplift yourself. So for one. We're going to look ourselves in the mirror and uplift ourselves. Okay? And for two, Kim, right here, canceling. Canceling negative vibes. Canceling, control, or delete negative vibes. Okay? We're not, we're not doing that. The third thing that the third thing that you need to do is learn to say no. Okay? Because, especially me. When you are like an overly nice person, where we call it friendly person, when you are too friendly, that 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 kind of kills you, because you you have like a bubbly um perspective in life. You are too bubbly. You are very righteous. You really you you like you like to make people happy. So, but in the long run, that's gonna kill you. Okay, it might look okay now. It might look like. 
like it's all right now, but it's not. Once you start aging and maturing, you're going to look back and see all the over-friendly shit that you did. And that, that's going to tire you. You're going to feel overly tired because now a lot of people don't use you. A lot of people don't abuse you. A lot of people don't um, finesse you. So what do you, you, you cut it out now. The earlier you cut that shit out, the better for you. I guarantee you. Because you don't want to get to 50 and realize that you've been an overly friendly person for 50 years. You know how long 50 years is. I told y'all in my last video, you only get one book to write. One book. God don't give us two books or a, a second chance to rewrite a whole new book. No, he's not out here wasting pages. We waste pages on this planet, okay? But he's not. You have one book to write. Bitch, I don't know about you. But I'm living my life. I'm sorry, but that's, that's like, you know, a slang. I'm going to stop it. But, girl, we don't have time to be wasting pages, okay? I don't have time to be wasting chapters because that is why, that is why I thank God for all the people that he dropped in my life because that's what you, I, and don't forget, when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me. God done dropped a lot of people in my life. I mean, they just keep on falling left and right. And I'm just like, you see me glowing? Do you see me glowing? And he's still working on me. He's still working on me. Benchita, benchita, I'm getting there. Okay? So when God drops people in your life, let them go. I'm already wishing number four. But number three is learn how to say no. Learn how to say no. When, it, when you don't want it, no. When it's not it, no. When it's not... Like, if it's not something that you would do or you really agree with it or something that will not make you happy, why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting the frustration? Why are you wasting the, ugh, I really didn't want to do it, but it's okay. Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Let it go. Because if you already have to do that, it was not important for you. Like, it's okay to say no. It's okay to say you're not going to do it. No matter how the person presses you, no matter how it's important for that person, if it's not important to you, they're going to be all right. They're going to be all right. Believe me. They're going to be okay. Because just like God put you in their, in their, in their path, they're going to put somebody else. So it's okay to say no and move on. Okay? And now the fourth thing is when, when God exit people out your life, exit people out your world, exit people out your situation, exit people out of whatever you want to call what you're going through, let them go. Like... Open both doors for them and let their ass walk off. Like nobody, nobody's gonna know. I'm not about to dump you, sir. Nobody got time for that. If if God show you, and you know, like sometimes. Now this is important. When you don't, when you don't have a higher power that you you subdue to, like when you don't have like, if you don't have God on your side, it's gonna be so hard for you to make it where you're trying to go because. God be talking to us in like in different in different manners, like in different like when you when you have like a praying life, you steady like having that communion and communication with God, and you letting God take take over your whole situation. Shit is gonna life is gonna be so easy for you. So many things are gonna just add up for you. So many things are just gonna add up to you. Okay, because when God says no, it's no. Okay, and but what we do, especially us that have a, a hard time listening to God, is we just keep on going back. And that is time wasted. And now you you at that 50 year old stage seeing all the errors that you don't need since you were like 15 and 16 years old. No, it starts right now. Okay, it starts right now. We don't have time for that. Once God cancel them out your life, let them go. Don't pursue them. Don't pursue them. It's not It's not important to you. Obviously, it was not important to them. It's not even, you know what? See, even me. It's so easy to say it's about people. It's not about people. It's about God. Okay? So, God had a reason why he let them walk off. God had a reason why he let them do, go ahead and do them. Now, what you got to do is just. Now what you got, what you have to do now is just sit and let it be. Sis. You see how easy that is? Once you, once you have that mentality that let God handle it, that is that, that had nothing to do with you, the reason why he left, and you don't, you let God handle it, you just sit back and just relax. 
Now, if you wasn't listening to God, now you'd be running after him or her, blowing him or her phone, at the door knocking, ready to shoot somebody, ready to fight somebody. That's a headache. That's a headache. That's a headache. Okay? And now you are you are taking off some pages in your book. Like, for what? I need all my pages in my book. All my pages in my book. I need that. So if you're going to walk up out of here, let me open the door for you and kindly walk out. Okay? And I'll make sure I double bolt that door. Okay? Period. Okay? <laughs> All right. And I'm the fifth and the last one. How to keep your positive, your positivity, your positive energy, your natural glow. It's continue to do what makes you happy. That is the easiest. The easiest thing to do is to continue doing and remain in what makes you happy. If it's writing books that makes you happy, continue to write books. No matter what, no matter what the situation is, no matter what, how how bad the situation is or how bad you feel it's, it's going. If you love writing books, write your books. If you are a, a, a social influencer, continue to influence people positive, positive wise. Because at the end of the day, when you get out of that situation, then you, you see that it's really... It wasn't a tragedy. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as you think. Because we always overthink as people, as humans. That's what we do. Especially us females, girls, mothers. We overthink every single situation like me. I, girl, I overdo it. So make sure to just keep happy. Keep a smile in your face, okay? We don't have time to waste in tears. We don't. We don't. Every time you want to cry... No, it's good to cry. It's good to cry. But you don't cry for too long, baby. You don't cry for too long. Because if you're, especially if you're crying for somebody else. Oh, body, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? We're not, no, we're not wasting tears. We are not wasting tears. Once you talked about it with God and you cried about it with God, drop this shit. Okay? Because God heard you. God heard you. It's your girl, Melly, and thank you so much for clicking this video. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for all the love. Make sure you comment down below what makes you happy. Like, what do you do when something, when you feel attacked? What, what do you do when you you feel that um, anger raising up in your, like, in your body? How do you dissolve yourself? Because you never know. How you go through a situation can help somebody else. Did I say that right? How you go through a situation can help somebody else. Yes, I did. It's your name, Ali, and I'll see you guys in the comments down below. Don't forget to let me know any other topics that you want me to talk about because I'll climb it. Climb it. Really? I will kindly meet you in the comments down below. Bye.